Language models are able to generate text better than any software system we've had before. And the larger the model, the more uh, training data it was trained on, uh, the better the text that it generates. There's a challenge here, however, in that these large models need supercomputers being able to run them and deploy them. Vast amount of resources go into that, a lot of know-how is required to get that uh, working. So the question is, how can we make these models smaller? One of the leading ideas to empower smaller models to have great text generation capabilities is retrieval. This is the idea that the model does not need to store the world's information into its parameters. Uh, and when deployed, we don't need to load all of that information into GPU memory. Retrieval language models boost the model with a database or the ability to retrieve information from uh, a search engine like Google. And the retrieved information from that database or from the internet helps it generate text. In this video, we'll be going over my article explaining DeepMind's Retro Transformer, which at 4% the size is comparable to GPT-3 at language intensive tasks. This is a very exciting direction that is explored in Retro Transformers, but also in other models like Memorizing Transformers, like WebGPT, uh, and even Google's Lambda. Honestly, this is an idea so powerful that it almost seems wasteful uh, for future language models uh, to be created without this, this ability. It also has nice properties like the ability to curate and filter the data that the model uh, has access to, and potentially also the ability to update the model's uh, data without the need to retrain the model from scratch. With that, let's look at retrieval transformers. So these cool developments in retrieval and the ability to empower transformer models with a retrieval or a search component is very exciting. Um, and it's we saw a couple of these papers uh, towards the end of 2021, this being one of them, the Retro Transformer being one of them, WebGPT being another one, and then Memorizing Transformers was released after that. And they were all around this very cool idea that you do not need a model with 175 billion parameters. It's not 85. It's, you don't need to store all of the world's information in the parameters of the model and load them into GPU memory. You can have a model, a language model, 4% of the size, but then help it with a retrieval component. And that injects information from other sources, from the internet or from a database in this case, into this model. And so um, here's an example of, let's say we have this prompt that we give the model and the model needs to uh, complete it. So if we say the Dune film was released in, this is something that the model has to have this factual information. Just knowing knowledge is not enough for this. But here's another example of a, of a prompt. It's popularity spread by word of mouth to allow Herbert to start working full. You don't need factual information to fill this in. You need maybe just, yeah, to understand the probabilities of words. And from here, I, there are these two components, potentially, of, of language models that are both represented in these large GPT models. So language information and then world knowledge information. And I love that this new approach of retrieval, your language model needs to maybe have a focus a little bit on language information and the world knowledge information can be outsourced. And it's better for all of that information to not be stored within the model. So you don't need to train the model every time you upload it. So we can use advanced and high performance databases, for example, to retrieve uh, very quickly instead of inefficiently storing all of that into this massive model. So this is, I think, a visual that captures a little bit of why this is exciting and why after this comes out, it seems that this is really the way, the way to go. Um, and it sort of helps you audit the sources of this information and you can have a little bit more more control over where this information was sorted from and what information sources does a model have access to. I'm really excited about this um, yeah, area. Here we talk a little bit about how this one model does it. This is Retro by, by DeepMind. So it has a built-in database of, of keys and values. And then when it gets an input prompt, 
it gets the tokens and makes it creates a sentence embedding of that. And then it uses that as a query to see where has the model's database seen words or sentences that are similar to this. So this is the retrieval part. It uses the prompt, the input prompt as a, as a query into the database. And then from there, it gets two things. It gets this similar sentence that, that is similar to the input, but also the sentence after it, so to speak, because that's maybe a lot of the times where that information would be, uh, would be captured. And so these are all fed into a retro. So it, it gets the input prompt, but it also gets this relevant information and that this system uh, has deemed, let's say, relevant to this. So it, it provides a number of different uh, neighbors. I think it's two at training time, but then at, you can do more. Like you're not, you're not limited to that. A little bit more uh, details about the actual architecture or structure. So you have a, a encoder stack and a, and a decoder stack. And the encoder is mainly to encode the, the neighbors into, let's say, keys and values. And then when you have the prompt that goes into the decoder and specific layers in the decoder specific decoder blocks this retro decoder block has access to this uh, encoder through the keys and values so these layers layer number let's say nine here can look back at the relevant information and, and brings the relevant information from the database memorizing transformer does it a little bit in a, in a different way, maybe a way that's maybe simpler um, than the one specifically used here. But this is a, a very interesting direction that I'm super excited to see uh, us take in because it allows us to use much smaller uh, language models and have other better retrieval tools um, to augment its information.